Hey everybody in MRAP land, this is Swami coming to you with a little bit of an update on myocarditis after vaccination. About a couple of weeks ago, we talked about this kind of coming out. We now have a little bit more data. The ACIP, the group that advises on immunizations, got together, reviewed all the cases, gave us some real numbers that we can sink our teeth into. And here's what we know. It does appear that there is a slightly increased risk of myocarditis or pericarditis developing after vaccination, predominantly in males under the age of 30. And the big group they were looking at was the 12 to 17 year group. And it was after the second shot. After the first shot, really minor increased numbers. After the second shot, a little bit more. But we gotta put these numbers in context. The raw numbers don't mean anything. It's really about percentages. So millions and millions of vaccines have been given in that age group. And what ACIP found was that for males, it was about a 0.006% chance of developing myocarditis or pericarditis after the second shot. For females, it was 0.0008, so even smaller number. And those are tiny, tiny numbers. They actually did a nice job of comparing that with the number of cases we avoid. So those millions of shots that we have given have avoided about 15,000 cases of COVID, about 400 hospitalizations, about 100 ICU stays, and three deaths. And yes, there is a increase in myo and pericarditis, but these are tiny, tiny numbers, and all of these patients are doing really well. So I think what we can advise our patients at this point, and what the ACIP is saying, is that it is safe to get vaccinated in anybody over 12, that there is a slight increase in myocarditis or pericarditis, but that slight increase pales in comparison to the risk of developing COVID. And none of this even talks about long COVID, which we know is a real thing. So the rates, again, for myocarditis, pericarditis in males 12 to 17, the highest risk group, 0.006%. It's a tiny, tiny number. And I think, again, that's something we can tell our patients to help convince them to get their kids vaccinated. All right, that's all I got.